Welcome to iLector Online. Sometimes they give you a graphical representation of a line, but they only give you two points on the line. They do not give you the y-intercept, and they ask for the equation of the line. Well, the procedure to find the equation of the line then becomes a little bit different. So let's, if, let's take a look and see how that's done. You still know that the equation is going to look like this, y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope of the line and b is the y-intercept. But here you can see that with the segment of the line that's drawn, you can't really tell where the y-intercept is going to be. You know it's going to be here somewhere, but the question is, where is that point? You don't know. You were not told what that point is. But you are given two points. And remember that by definition, the slope which of course is represented by the letter M, is equal to the ratio of the rise over the run. And of course the rise would be the change in height going from one point to the other, so this here would be the rise. And this distance here, that would be the run. So it's the ratio of that rise over that run that gives us the slope of that line. And we know that's equal to the change in the Y values divided by the change in the X values of between two points on the line. So in this case, we could say that this is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And then we can label these points. We can label this as point two. So this is x2, y2. And here we can say that this is here is x1 and y1. We'll squeeze it in there like that. And then simply we go ahead and do those two subtractions. We have y2 minus y1. So y2 is equal to 20 minus y1, which is equal to 15, divided by x2, which is equal to 20, and y and x1, which is equal to 10. So here you can see that's equal to 5 over 10, which is 1 half simplified. So there you can see that if they give you two points, it's relatively straightforward to find the slope of the line. So we can plug that in here, and we say y equals 1 half x plus b. But then, how do we find B? How do we find the point where the line crosses the y-axis? Well, to do that, you can take any one of your points on the line, so we're given these two points, either this point or this point, and plug those x and y value in for x and y. So, first of all, let me draw the narrow here, the one-half, is what goes into here to become one-half, but now we're going to take the x value right here, and plug it into my x there, and I can take the y value and plug it into my y there. And then I only have one unknown b that I can solve for. Now it doesn't matter if you pick this point or that point, you'll get the same result. So here y is equal to 20, so I have 20 is equal to 1 half times x, which is also 20 plus b. So in this case, we have 20 is equal to 10 plus b, subtract 10 from both sides, 20 minus 10 equals b, or 10 equals b, or b equals 10. There we go, and then you plug that back into your equation, so then you rewrite your equation, and you have y equals 1 half x, plus, instead of b, you write what b is equal to, which is 10, and there's the equation you were looking for. And just so you can see that I could have picked the other point, I could again go here, y equals 1 half x plus b, and instead of pick this x and this y, so I'll let y equals 15, so 15 is equal to 1 half times x, which is 10, plus b, so instead of using 20, 20 for y and x, I used 15 and 10 for y and x, right here, and then I get 15 equals 5 plus b, subtract 5 from both sides, 15 minus 5 equals b, 10 equals b, or b equals 10. There we go, we get the same value for b, and then, you again, you plug it in, and you get the same equation. So again, it didn't matter which point on the line you picked to find your y-intercept. And that is how it's done. See, I did it both ways. <laughs> I knew you were going to ask for it. <laughs>